I'm going to show you how to find Fiori apps in SAP for Fiori apps library. My name is Undish and I've been working with SAP since 2001 with my main focus in finance area. I work as an SAP FICO contractor. In case you want to reach me out for projects, please find my LinkedIn ID in the description of this video. If you are just reaching to this channel, its name is SAP at a glance and the aim is to share SAP knowledge. Therefore, do not forget, please subscribe this channel to receive new videos on a weekly basis. I am currently doing a document that will become a PDF how to navigate in SAP at a glance YouTube channel. In case you want to receive it, please send me, connect with me via LinkedIn and send me a message saying that I want the PDF document and your email, of course, then I will send it to you once it is ready. Some people are struggling to find Fiori apps and SAP has a free library to find them all. And now without any further ado, let's go and to see how to find Fiori apps in SAP library. Now we are in the Fiori apps library. Let's go and see how we search Fiori apps here. Before doing that, I'm going to advise you to do something. So we copy paste this. You can find, I'm going to leave this in the description so you can click or Maybe you can open another, if you search in Google Fiori apps, you reaching here, but if not, I'm going to put this in the description of this video. I'm going to copy paste, going to our SAP uh, IMG menu, and then I'm going to uh, add other objects. And then here we can put, choose web email address or file. And then we are going to put the web and email address, and we will put Fiori library. Okay, so which means that from here, if you click twice, you should be able to reach to the Fiori library. Okay, and then it's going to be always there once you need something during your projects. So let's go again. <clears throat> so now here we have the categories, all apps, all apps for SAP um, S4ANA, all apps for SAP Cloud, Fiori apps. So the difference between these two, you know that this is the SAP S4ANA on-premise and this is the cloud version, the public cloud. Okay, let's start from here, all apps. And then we have, you see how many apps, 16,649 Fiori apps for everything in, in SAP. So now what we do, we are going to search one of the things that one of the things that I advise is to, if we know the transaction code that we are looking for in uh, in the library, if we know the SAP transaction code, we type there and we see what are the related Fiori apps uh, with this. So basically we have schedule automatic payment schedule automatic payment period. So if I click here, I have already here set F under 10. So then here, what we have, this is available for SAP S4ANA and SAP uh, S4ANA Cloud, the Fiori app. In this site, we have the SAP version. So from the 1610 that we have this Fiori app available. So if you can, if you are using another version, you can click here and then choose the other version and everything gets changed. So what we have here, my require the backend products, we need to know, and then our app launch partner, schedule automatic. We know that this application type is SAP key. And then the database, we need to have the ANA database excluded. Of course, if you are in S4 ANA, you have an ANA database. And the device types, what does it mean? It means that I can run this uh, transaction or this Fiori app only in desktop and tablet. If someone tells you that you can run the, the payment run in, uh, in your um, iPhone or uh, in your Android or smartphone, you can't. It says here desktop and tablet. Here in the device top, device type is where you see where I can run this app, which means that uh, sometimes you have three options, desktop, tablet, and smartphone. 
And then the app ID is the most important part that we need to take from here because it's, it is based on this app, app ID that we are taking this to ask to the either security roles, whatever in your project, in your company basis to add this uh, app ID to your uh, uh, profile. Um, so uh, let's, before we going down, I want to show again uh, something different. Manage posting. If you are enjoying this video and me doing it for you, please make a like to us. <laughs> And now let's see this create manual and single payment. This is not the one that I'm looking for. This one, manage automatic payment schedule payment proposal. So this is, I can see this is an exclusive um, Fiori app. Uh, this one, I know that is an emulation of what we have today in uh, SAP -G because the application type is SAPGI, is not exclusive of Fiori. So when we have here in the application type uh, SAP UI5, we know that is the Fiori technology and is uh, exclusive of uh, Fiori. And then again, we have desktop and tablet, and then we have here line of business, okay? Line of business, budget and finance, Corporate finance, finance, purchasing, sourcing and procurement and supply chain. If you compare here, this is a just scheduling automatic. It doesn't have this information. So here I know this is a Fiori app and not a emulation of a transaction code like a Fiori. Whatever I need to see here, I have some products. Uh, if you see the Apple ID, the if you see the app ID, uh, sorry, F0, F0770, so this is uh, completely different than this one because here is the transaction code itself that we have here. Okay, so this is really a Fiori. So now here in the tab of related apps. So we know that uh, this is related with these two apps, okay? Uh, is related with this process and then other apps in account payable. So this is also something very nice to find accounts related to, to accounts payable, for example. So you can see here we have um, all of these apps, create correspondence, clear outgoing payments. So we have a transaction for this in SAP -E. What we have, we see, so display interest run, display payment lists is also from the the automatic payment, display checks, and I think there is also for balances, so, and so on. As you can see, there is a lot of information here that we can take it uh, with us, okay? Now we go for the tab of implementation of information. Sorry, this one first. So this is uh, what the transaction does. We have links to see other information. We have more documentation and we have a, a screen, okay? Scope items. So this is what we have from finance and from, uh, so we, if we click, if we, we go for the scope items of this, uh, this process, the, the SAP best practices. Now, when we go for the implementation information, okay, this is the, the SAP notes. So we, we, we believe it, it is implemented. And then we have the configuration. Inside of the menu configuration, we have something important. The SAP is a component Y I five application, so it's we know that we have the, we have the technical name. Uh, we have uh, here the the technical catalog, okay, where SAP where this is stored. And then I think the business roles, when we go for the business roles, I know that if I had, so in the business role, SAP has provided already these two roles ready, uh, which means that if I copy paste and if I go here to the sub V and I get my user here in the, in where I have the roles, if I insert 
this role here is it means that I'm going to have in my Fiori app launch pad, I'm going to have the this Fiori app, okay? The manage automatic payments. But please bear in mind, don't do that because you're going to have everything that is assigned to this role. Okay, the best is to um, take either take this and make a custom role apart uh, with this, or the best is to take from here that you need to provide to Basis or to the security of your uh, client where you, you are working. If this video is being useful for you, please make some notes like this video is being very useful for me. And we have not finished yet, so stay a little bit more. Now, when I'm back, I'm, I want to go to, to see the all apps for SAP as for that. If you see, now I have by line business, by industry, by role, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to choose by line business. And then if you see by line business, we, I, we can see inside of the line business how many apps we have. Okay, for, for example, for, for instance, for customers, we have all of these Fiori apps for customers. So it could be finance, it could be so balance sheet, uh, approved bank, bank payments. So we can see that is a uh, line of business budget and finance, corporate, and then this is we have seen before. So now I want to show something else that is very important when you are in a project. When we click here on list view, we have a different view of the Fiori apps. Let me just put this here. And then here I have the Fiori apps here. So I have the, the ID there. And then what is, in, what is nice to do is like this. We go here and then I'm going, so we have all of these fields to put in the screen, okay? But let's do something here quickly. I want to have the app, subtitle, and I want to have the transaction. Transaction, it means here transaction codes, okay? From uh, SAP. So when I see here, is if you see, those ones do not have any transaction codes. So these ones are really, uh, they don't exist in SAP B. So for these ones, I have a transaction code, which is the equivalent of this uh, billing document. What is up, the equivalent is VF03, the transaction code. So this is what I have. We scroll down, scroll down, scroll down in terms of controller. Manager SQFs, so I have KA, K3, but the transaction ID uh, is, uh, is, is this one. I can go from here, I can click my IP ID is this one. I have everything that we saw before I go back. And now let's do something. I wanted to have this in a spreadsheet. So it's pretty simple. We just need to come here and download. And that's it. I'm going to open it open a CSV so we just need to to format with this with tabs and you get all of this information now you know how to find Fiori apps in the SAP Fiori apps library thanks for watching this video and if you have reached to this point please leave your comments we would appreciate you can find the next video in the description of this one please don't forget subscribe to this channel to receive fresh new videos on a weekly basis. See you in the next video.